guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and your looker dashboard must look like this now what you have to do just simply come on the looker then click on this explore and then click on this flight option okay so just click over here it will take a couple of seconds to load the data meanwhile just simply come on the task number one and in the task number one just check this fourth number point fifth number point and sixth number point so first of all what you have to do we have to click on this aircraft origin and then click on the city so just check for the aircraft origin this is and then click on the name of the city okay and thus column as add over here now check for the flight details then measures and then cancel count so just check flight details scroll down little bit measures and click on cancel count so these two columns are add over here now what we have to do we have to add a filter okay so please watch the video carefully just simply scroll up in flight details click on this arrival date and from here you can see this year if you just hover over here you can see th this three option click on this middle option where you can see these three lines once you click over here in filter section this thing is added now from here choose the in this year in is in this year choose that option and now just type 2000 like this make sure you have to type 2000 if you just simply scroll down and if you just check the point number seven they already measure once you're done with all these things your dashboard must look like this if it's so just simply click on run please pay the attention if you just miss one point you won't get a score on the task number four or you can say five okay so it's done and we are done with the task number one now for the task number two what we have to do First of all, just click on this gear icon, then click on this merge option. Just wait for a couple of seconds. The page will load. Meanwhile, just simply scroll down and just check the point number three and point number four. Okay, so what we have to do, just wait and it's loading. And now click on this airports. Okay, so we have done, done with this point number three. Now what we have to do, we have to click on the city option of city and average elevation. So here you can see in airports city click over here and if you just simply scroll down and in the measures you can see average elevation click over here and your merge query must look like this if it's so so we are done with the task number two also what we have to do is just simply click on run and once this thing is done we have to just simply click on save so that's the thing we are done with the task number two now for the task number three just wait and just make sure that your output okay so it's done now just simply click on save now just wait And just check that your merge result must look like this like for the flight it must be aircraft origin city and for the airport airport city and just check over here both the things are same if it's so just simply click on run now just wait for to this thing get completed okay so it's done and you can see this data or you can say result okay so that's mean we have done with the task number three also now in the task number four what we have to do you can see this flights click on this gear icon and from this gear icon just simply click on this edit option i hope we have to click on the flight then click on that gear option option and from there we have to click on the flights so that's the mean we have done with these three things okay now what we have to do we have to expand the aircraft destination and then click on the city so if you just click over here you can see aircraft destination and then simply click on this name called city so that's I mean we had done with this thing okay now just basically click on run and once this thing is done just simply click on save just simply click on save and this thing is done so we had done with the task number one two four and task number five is very easy first of all just copy this name copy this name then click on this gear icon then click on this save to dashboard and just change this name which you copy from the lab instruction Be make sure that you not copy that full stop okay so it's done now what you have to do just simply come on the point number six copy this copy this and here you can see new dashboard just simply click over here and paste the dashboard name called airport data click on ok it's added over here just simply click on save to dashboard and if you just follow the way the way i show you if you just simply scroll down and click on check my progress you will get a score and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day